this is one player who's electric mm -hmm. and the team plays around him and for him and he works hard on both sides of the ball. He makes them so, so dangerous. And what what is really uh, encouraging, I think, for the crew heading into this next season is that they pretty much have the same team. They haven't lost that many players. And so when you think about teams that have been able to do, go back to back, win MLS Cups back to back, there's not many. There's only three teams mm -hmm. that have ever done it. And it's the LA Galaxy, Houston Dynamo, and DC United. Mm. And here is a look at the ins and outs for the Columbus crew. I mean, when you look at these names, uh, Julian Gressel maybe didn't, didn't, do didn't really but do much. Didn't, didn't, he came in late. He yep. was traded and didn't play, couldn't break into the team. What you get from Gressel is more of the off the field, in the locker room, having his presence his because the experience matters. Sure. So it, him and Madronda both had experience in the league. So as far as holding people accountable, that, that's a big thing that I think goes – underrated uh, in terms of what those type of players can offer a team. But Derek Jones, I played with him in Philadelphia, um, has always been a, a player who I, I think hasn't fulfilled his potential, but he's super strong, um, good movement, can break up plays, I think still has a lot, a lot left in the tank. And mm -hmm. if you're going to a, a team where you, a manager can get the most out of you, I think Wilfer Nancy is a, is a coach who could really benefit Derek Jones. So you guys are telling me, now that I'm looking at the odds, I don't, I don't, I don't like it when the odds are put out on the screen and you want to look at it. I mean, considering what you, considering what you guys are saying, it, if I had ten dollars and I said, oh, if I had hundred dollars, you give me a Benjamin, I put a hundred bucks, I get eight hundred bucks back on on Columbus doing the double. Mm -hmm. It would be a smart bet. Uh, okay, no team has won back-to-back -back MLS <laughs> Cup championships. This is, we're watching the LA Galaxy. Nico in real time turning into a gambler. I was going to say, <laughs> is there ever a smart bet? It's been over 10 years <laughs> no. since okay. a team's been able to do it. It's very Fair. hard. It's, a, it's, a, it's very hard to do it. And I think we, we talked about LA, uh, LAFC being a team that looked like they were built to go back-to-back. -back. They weren't able to, to do it. Yeah, but they were so close. They were close, but they weren't able to do it. Oh. And it's just over the course of an MLS season, which is is long, and there is, I mean, we've seen You mean outside of the wonky yeah, parts? Sudden, exactly. I mean, things things are just so changeable. And so it, it's, it's. I would argue that it's probably the hardest league to go back to back Well, it's, it's, in. It's, it's, it's not only that. I think you look at this Columbus crew, they have continuity. They have a manager everyone believes in. They mm -hmm. have a great style and identity. But how do you improve the squad? And mm. if you look at this Columbus Crew side, where for me where they were a little questionable is in the center of, uh, can of, we look at, can of, we of the back. Look at the because you have Rudy Camacho in. who understands what Wilfred Nancy wants and okay. played with him yeah. at Montreal, but Camacho is is slow, mm -hmm. and when he he has a tendency to dive in and anticipate and step, and when you step, that. You're creating a lot of space, and and so Schulte had a pretty good season. He got on the, the U.S. Men's National League, got the call for January. I think does, it's, does he hit a sophomore slump? Well, we it? saw what Celentano did. Yeah, and he had a, a slump to start last season. So uh, you got, you got a target on your back. You're MLS Cup champions. Everyone's gunning for so you. You set you, the standard. If, if you if you had not unlimited resources, but you say I can you can buy two players. Which two players would you change from this team to reinforce? Columbus to to make them better to improve this one. Would it be Camacho and Schulte? No, it's it's only Camacho. Mm. Schulte, Schulte, it's a he's a goalkeeper in MLS. You just have to have a goalkeeper who doesn't make mistakes. You don't need a goalkeeper who's going to win you matches. It, difficult. It is. No, it's not that difficult. You don't have to go out and spend millions of dollars on a top keeper, okay. which is great in this league. Just get a keeper who doesn't make mistakes. Patrick Schulte won you an MLS Cup. So that tells you you don't need to improve that position. He just needs to improve as a, as a keeper. And that's on Wilfer Nazi, and that's on, on Patrick Schulte to continue to improve. Defensively, I loved what Amundsen can give you because he's so flexible. He oh, can play he's left wonderful. wing back. He, his distribution got better. His one on one defending got Honestly, better. Honestly, like his shift to Columbus because he was not being utilized enough nor well at NYCFC was the greatest gift for mm -hmm. him and the crew. Mm -hmm. And I think he really is starting to flourish because and his confidence is getting back. But to your earlier comment about, you know, how do you improve this side? I think now knowing that these are all really solid players, in my opinion. 
it comes down to the intangibles, right? So you have a player like Cucho and somebody that's that confident in himself, both on and off the ball, I think it just breeds this, this confidence across the squad, right? And I think that it's the intangibles from each player that start to kind of propel them forward if you're going to do something going yeah. forward it, with the same players. And depth, depth is tested. Depth is going to be tested, especially in that midfield who clocked a lot of minutes last mm. season as mm -hmm. well. And also on the whole, I think the East has gotten a lot stronger. There are some really good teams and I mean, Inter Miami are going to have a full season yeah. of Messi and company as well. So I think they are equipped to repeat as MLS Cup yes. champions, mm. I just don't think it's as easy. I'm taking as my hundred dollars back after this segment. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and let's not sleep on Marrero. Marrero is one of the best Diego defenders. Rossi. I keep forgetting Diego Rossi <laughs> yeah. on this team as well. <laughs>